We've got a building constructed, that's the mine that we were putting up before. So we just accept that, obviously. That's good news. We've got a new port that's emerged, and that's over in Guatemala. We're going to put that into a trading port, of course, so that we can get our mines and our coffee and everything else out of there. So, that's why we have that port. There it is. We'll put that down as a trading port. Let's okay that. Technologies have failed. No surprise there. Here we are, back in again. We're we'll going to see if we can get it again. Steal research. And we're going to steal something that's going to help us again. Advanced irrigation, which is something the Dutch are very good at having. With all the canals. And it looks like we've got the occultation of mercury. Okay, so that's the beginning of the turn. Winter 1737. Okay, here we are in winter 1737. Let's have a quick look over here now and see how we're doing on our trip. Uh, yep, still on the way there. Everything's fine. We're constructing over here as well. Where is it? Well, we were going to restrict construct over here. If I've got enough money to do that. I think I'll wait around just to see if I have. Okay. Now, let's see what the ships are doing over in Marseille. Okay, looks like the Savoyans or Savoyards have produced nothing, so that's good news. We have a fleet here, a sixth rate that we'll leave behind. I'll put it there because it makes more money there. Savoy getting 1297 there, and on this side they're getting only. Uh, 624, so we'll go over here, 1297, so 5% of that that we're taking with that 6 rate. And just to put them off a bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the name of the Glindhorst, and I'm going to call it the Savoy Slayer. Oh, thank you. Fingers in the right place. So I call it the Savoy Slayer. Maybe that will put them off from attacking that ship. You never know. And what I'm really hoping for is that they'll produce some of their own ships, poor quality ones from that trading port, and then we can take them out. But what I do need to do most of all is get these back to the most important area as far as I'm concerned and in terms of trade. So we'll get them back here. This is worth on this side here 923 to me, and on this side it's worth. 8,800, so it's worth ni nearly 10,000 to my economy. Okay, now I seem to remember there's a, a port in Casablanca here that I've done nothing with, so I'm going to make that a fishery, so it'll help with the local economy there and the general growth. And I'm going to see if I can assassinate one of those Spaniards up there in, in my school. He's around here somewhere, there he is. Oh, we'll choose the one that's easiest. <laughs> See if we can take one of those Spaniards out of there. Fascination success, goodness me, that doesn't happen very often, does it? Yeah, there we go. I always tend to sort of move them just out of the way, just in case they've been spotted. Just a little foible of mine, I think, really. Um, I'm also going to build, if I can, a cobbled road in here, see if I can help with this economy. I've exempted them, if you remember. We've got naught growth now in there, so at least we're not a minus anymore. We're on naught growth. The um, cobbled road might indeed help with that as well. Right, just going to have a look down now at this southern island. See what we can do down here. Because the Savoyans are still not going to be very happy with us. So I'm going to replenish some of these as well. He's quite a good one, with um, two chevrons, so I'll have him. Well, I'm going to have a quick look over in India, see what's happening over there. We've got an army here that's planted itself in uh, 
what's the place called? It's certainly a weaver's cottage. Bangalore, cotton weaver's cottage. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to attack those because it doesn't look like that one is particularly brilliant. One, two, three, four, five. He's got four lots of cavalry and one lot of infantry in there. So I think we're going to have to finish those off because otherwise he's going to add all these other different armies to that and then it's going to become quite difficult to fight. Now I don't need a great deal of troops to fight this one and in fact some of the troops are vulnerable so there really isn't a lot of point in putting troops onto the battlefield that are going to be vulnerable. I do want those to be chased, uh, those to help chase his troops away of course. Certainly want the howitzers because that's going to force his cavalry to come and attack me. So if I look down here, these are the ones who really are the, um, the, the, the least useful I think. So what I'm going to do is attack with all the others take him out. The idea is that we're going to wipe him out completely. Well, these have got a range, 70-25. I believe these fire while mounted as well. Um, but, you know, I need to remember basically that they're most likely to come and uh, attack me with fire rather than charge me. I mean, they can charge as well, of course. Um, okay, the seat warriors, 14-12-18-9. Melee attack 14. And what have I got? 6 13 and 7. It doesn't show me the full value with the chevrons, of course, but my melee attack is 6 against a melee attack of, of um, 14, and he gets a charge bonus as well. So we really do have to be very careful with those charts going. So they're the ones that are going to cause us the most trouble. Okay, so here we are onto the battlefield. Okay, I've spared you the usual battle lineup, as you can see. Grouped all the units, and it looks like he's attacking from this angle here. So we're going to prepare ourselves by being at least facing in the right direction. Right, he's coming around here, as you can see, to the right. These are his camel nomads. Take a quick look at those. I think we can spare a bit of time to do that. There they go. The camel nomads there running around to the to attack my right flank, probably. He's intending to go all the way around, I would have thought. back now just to see what the rest of them are doing because they're likely to be going around to the left hand side no they seem to be staying in position actually which is good news okay now horses don't like camels so there's a good chance that he's gone that way in order to attack my horses but we'll see my howitzers should be firing at the moment they're certainly oh no they're not even in range ah now we are should take one or two of them out with a bit of luck. Uh, yes. Quite a few, actually. There are like 12 of them there, the look of it. Unless we fired up until... Oh, it looks like we've had a fire at them before as well when they came in range. Okay. Looking down on the big map down at the bottom here, we can see he isn't really close enough to do me any harm at the moment. So I should just be able to creep forward and keep taking him out, you know, with um, how it's a fire. We'll see how that goes, anyway. Let's have a look at my Houncy crew, see how they're performing. Yeah, we can still, they're still, we can see, sorry, that they're still preparing to fire. So the enemy must be within range. Oh, here we go, we've got a few more of them coming down there. Now then, the idea is, of course, traditional lines of, of battle in the 18th century. I think he's going for a flank again there, the look of it. But if I just click on there, you should be able to see the range of those. So if he enters into that zone there, along with all the uh, artillery fire as well, we should find that those troops there uh, get a bit of a hammering. Okay. I'll look, down along, quick look along my line of troops. And we should see them beginning to fire in a moment. Once he comes into range and we get a good shot at him, what I'll do then is... Oops, a bit quick there. Ah, see how he's managed to just stay out of the range there. Really irritating when he does that, so what we're going to do is form a square. It's like he almost knows exactly what the distance is. I'll just pull these horse back a little bit. I don't want him connecting with my horse if I don't, if I don't need him to. And we'll form these into square as well. So when he comes attacking down that side, we're ready for him. 